Welcome to another edition of Ask Snappy, and I'm Abhinav Girdhar, founder of Appify. Today's question comes from Arvinda from Colombo, Sri Lanka, and he asks that he is a student and he wishes to create mobile apps and games. So he wants to know what are the best programming languages for mobile application development, what are the best mobile app frameworks, and what tools he could use for creating mobile apps and games. Arvinda, before I answer this question for you, I remember we created a blog where we talked about a lot of mobile application development frameworks, where we talked about the programming languages that you could use for mobile application development and game development. So I am taking the liberty of posting the link to that blog in the description of this edition. Arvinda, to answer your question, in terms of the programming language, for Android, most of the development happens on programming languages like Java and Kotlin. When we talk about iOS app development, mostly programming happens on Objective-C and Swift. However, these days I see a lot of companies are also creating uh, machine learning technologies which they are trying to integrate using Python. And when we talk about hybrid applications, some of the languages that are being used are React Native and you can also use AngularJS. Google recently released another very popular JS framework called Flutter, which is also gaining a lot of traction in terms of mobile app development programming. We have talked about the programming languages. Now let's talk about the integrated development environments. So for iPhone, mostly everyone uses Xcode as the development piece. And for Android app development, you use Android Studio. And for all these hybrid apps, you could actually leverage tools like App Accelerator. Then uh, you could also use Xamarin, which is also acquired by Microsoft and has been attaining a lot of tra traction lately. Adobe acquired PhoneGap, and Adobe PhoneGap is also primarily becoming very, very popular. So if you are interested in something like Cordova, Cordova is an open source version of PhoneGap. That is also something that you could leverage. You should also look at no-code to low-code app development tools like Google's App Maker or Salesforce App Builder. You should also look at Appify's App Builder. We also provide about 170 odd features to create a gamut of apps. And if I remember correctly, you were also interested in creating games. So for games, I would recommend you to use Unity 3D if you're trying to create 3D games. You can also take the libraries from Krona Labs they have an awesome product as well. And another tool that I would also recommend you is CocoS 2D. That's also an awesome tool for mobile game development. This was a top level overview of mobile app development languages, programming frameworks for you. However, if you're interested in knowing the specifics, as I mentioned, I have posted the blog link for you in the description. And as you were a beginner, and you, I'm assuming you are very, very interested in programming, we at AppyPy are launching Academy. That's for students like yourself who can come to the academy and learn creating apps. And we have already posted about 12 lessons as of now, which will help you creating mobile apps. And gradually we'll be adding lots and lots of more lessons and they'll be coming your way. There are over 50 web development frameworks that come into my mind. And I will also share these 50 web development frameworks in the description of this edition. Now, let's talk about some popular web development frameworks to create your own SaaS engine. So, one of the most popular web development frameworks that are being utilized by some of the likes of Shopify is Ruby on Rails. However, this specific skill set on Ruby on Rails is not readily available. So, hiring a person who is excellent with Ruby on Rails is relatively harder. So the three web development frameworks where you can find excellent talent would be the LAMP stack. The second stack would be the main stack, which is gaining a lot of traction these days. And the third traction would be the good old Microsoft stack. So let's go one stack at a time. Let's talk about the LAMP framework. LAMP is primarily Linux, Apache, MySQL and PHP. So the LAMP development frameworks, the most popular are the ones that are basically based on the MVC model. Some of the top names that come into my mind are the Yee framework, the Zen framework, the Laravel framework. 
so these are some of the frameworks you can use uh, if you think and you decide to go with the PHP stack. Now let's talk about the main stack. Main stack is primarily modeled around MongoDB, Expression Framework, AngularJS, and Node.js. So that's how it's basically structured. This is the stack where most of the startups are actually using at this particular point of time. The reason why main stack is becoming so popular is primarily MongoDB is a very scalable and a robust database system. And then you couple it with AngularJS, which is a JS based framework, is also very, very fast. And you can also develop your application as a progressive web app. And the third stack is the good old Microsoft stack, where you have a Windows server, we're using ASP.NET, and also the MS SQL as your database. It's also very, very popular. All those legacy systems that have been developed are actually developed on this particular technology. And it's still very, very popular with Microsoft Azure Cloud. And now let's talk about the JS-based framework, which are very, very popular and gaining a lot of traction. Since React.js was made open source by Facebook, the adoption for React has been very, very high. So I would also recommend you to look at React Native and the React.js framework. Uh, on top of that, you could also look at the AngularJS framework, which we've already talked about, with Node.js framework. And Google has recently launched the Flutter framework. Again, a very, very popular framework. As I mentioned at the start of this edition, that I have created a detailed article where I've talked about over 50 frameworks which you could use. So depending upon the pros and cons of each framework and where you can find the best talent, you can decide the framework, the web development framework that best suits you. If you like this edition, then do remember to share it on social media channels like Facebook, Twitter and Insta. And do remember to subscribe to our channel.